Scorpio, secrecy. Something you feel is being kept from you. You don't know exactly what that is, and it just seems like something is not being told to you. Stop trying to investigate. Stop trying to figure it out, because you know what? The truth is going to come to you. No matter what that person says, no matter what that person is doing, you're going to find out about it. Why are they ghosting you? Why are they keeping things a, a secret from you? You feel it from the bottom of your heart, like you're not being told everything. And no matter what they say, no matter what they do, you can't trust them. There's just something about what they're saying is not coming through in a way where you can feel confident and believe them. Scorpio energy is not about investigating it, but just more like believe in yourself. And you know what? Trust. Trust the process. Because whatever they're doing, they're not doing it against you, but they're doing it against themselves because you and this person is like the best thing that ever happened to each other. And you know that there's something more that's going to happen, but you know that this is not natural or something is keep being kept from you. Draco. Challenges and other things that you're feeling right now. This card is telling you, don't keep putting too much pressure on yourself trying to figure out what it is that you're doing wrong because you did not do anything wrong with this relationship. Just because they're not coming to you and giving to you everything that you're, you're, you want from them, you're telling them what you feel, you're telling them that you, you need more, or you know, you've been waiting to tell them, but they're not giving in to what, what is the truth between you two. That's why you're feeling like something is being kept from you and you can't put your finger on it. I have to tell you, stop worrying stop doing this in every relationship you might feel be feeling this because sometimes if relationship energy just follows through you know like you have one relationship back in the day um and it just seems like the same scenario keeps happening and it's like i know something's going to happen is it it's not fair to you it's not fair to them to keep blaming because sometimes it's just your own mind it's just you you basically put something in your mind and you planted a seed there and then that's how it grows you know like how springtime it grows venus now this this card represents you know a lot of love a lot of beauty venus what represents it's actually the opposite of of scorpio because mars well not the opposite but Mars and Venus is like two different types of planets. Okay, and I'm going to explain to you why. Because Venus is telling you that the love is inside of you and there's love. There's love in that relationship. There's love inside you, first of all. If you don't love yourself, you're never going to find a loving relationship. So it's time to stop blaming yourself and stop stop putting all that, that energy that it has to happen this way and you want it this way. Because trying to investigate and trying to figure out and stalking their... Uh, well, you're not stalking, but you know what I mean. Trying to look at their their profile and see if you find anything, you know, uncovering behind their their posts. Maybe somebody is, you know, liking. Maybe they, you know, started friending somebody, and maybe that person just keeps liking, 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 liking. Maybe there's something more behind it. You know, it sounds familiar. A lot of us do it. I know. We we wonder who is this person? Hmm. Let me see. Who are they following? You know, and it just goes on before you know it. You're obsessed with this person. And it's like. I don't even know who this person is. And this person could just be a random person. Could even be a bot. Who knows? But Virgo is telling you to have patience. Have patience and not, not keep looking at, you know, why this person didn't communicate with you. Why didn't this person get back to you? Why you, you sent that text out, you know, last week. And then, you know, a little while afterwards, you send another text. And then you send another text. And they're still not answering you. Well, be patient. There's something more behind it. Maybe this person isn't exactly who you think this person is. And if you're patient enough, this person will reveal themselves if there is something to be revealed. Okay, I'm not saying that they're doing something against you, but, uh, you know, like this is very common with a lot of relationships because, you know, you expect something to happen and you kind of like claim it, but actually that's not the way it is. It's completely, totally the opposite. It's like, what was I thinking? You know, maybe they got busy or something. You know, whatever it is, stop putting that, that energy on, on yourself. The new moon is telling you a new beginning, a new change. Something new is going to happen. Something beautiful is going to happen. But the change can't happen if you're always looking, you know, inside a post or looking at what they're doing. This card is also talking about manifesting. Manifestation is not about, oh, well, I want to win the lottery. I mean, if that's, you know, like your thing, sure. But, you know, most likely people don't manifest that. It just 
it's just one of those things that just happens randomly. Um, and manifesting, like, I want to have happiness in my life, and I'm going to get happiness in my life, and I'm going to find happiness in my life, whoever that may be, you know, and you're manifesting it. And then you know what? You're drawn to somebody, and that person is drawn to you. And magic just happens because you didn't even think that you were going to be happy, but you actually manifested it. Yes, I see it happen all the time. It's just like a random thing inside your heart that you didn't even know. Like there's somebody that you're drawn to and you're thinking, okay, that's the person I'm supposed to be with. But then if you're manifesting love, you're going to get love, not manifesting a specific person. Mintaka. Okay, well, I'll just call it what it is. Nostalgia belonging community you're thinking back a lot of thoughts a lot of thoughts from the past a lot of thoughts of what could have been and what should have been and what do you need to do in your life for the future um nostalgia is a good energy especially now when we're coming into you know this new new um season not not right now we're looking at it to happen sooner um and you know what it's good for you to just take a take a breather and say, you know what? I want love. I want true love. I want to be loved. I need love in my life. And you know what? You're going to manifest it. You will manifest love in your life, but you need to just focus on it. Stop looking at the past. Stop looking at why this person, why this person didn't, you know, come to you when they should have came to you. Why didn't this person talk to you when they should have talked to you? Why did this person go away? Why is this person just not like MIA or something? Well, that happens. Not something you have to look at all the time, but look at what your heart is telling you. You want to manifest love, you can get love. Stop looking at the stop looking at the glass half empty and look at it half full. Okay. Um, these read this reading had a lot of messages and I hope it resonated with you. Take what resonates with you and leave what doesn't. I do offer phone chat and email readings if you would like to look a little bit deeper into your situation. Maybe there's something that you're not um, understanding, but you're you're getting something. You need more clarity with it. And I do offer phone chat and email readings. The links are down below in the description area on my profile. Um, and also check out my blog. I have several articles um, that talk about soulmates, twin flames. Maybe you have a question about you know, who your twin flame is or who your soulmate is, or if you even have one, um, it's a good idea to get a reading and, you know, just to learn about more about yourself. So, um, I just want to say to you guys all, thank you all for all the support and all the love. I love you guys from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reaching out. I love you guys. Um, so until next time, God be with you all. Namaste.